today I'm gonna be trying installing Node.js on new MacBook Air M1 series. So, uh, as a web developer or software engineer, I want to try these machines because I wanna switch to this MacBook Air just because it has no fan and I really like that this machine is completely quiet while I do my work and before I switch to this laptop, I wanna make sure I'm able to install all the applications and packages that I need to do my development. I'm a software engineer, mainly do front-end and back-end in Python and Node.js. And in this video, I'm gonna try installing Node.js. And if you're interested in buying this M1 series, you wanna make sure that your, all your applications and packages that you need for your development work properly. We need to use something called Rosetta 2, which is a translation layer. I can install this uh, Mac OS X64 using Rosetta 2, but I wanna test the performance. I'll be installing Angular CLI, Ionic CLI, Cordova. I'll create some demo project and I'll see how Node overall compiles and perform uh, doing this task. Before we install this x64 package, I want to take you to other downloads. If you take a look at this ARM binary, which is Linux binary ARM, I use Raspberry Pi and I installed this Linux binary and, and it worked pretty, pretty good on that. I'll try this later, but first let's go back and install um, with the macOS installer. So once this is downloaded, I will Go and open this package. So oh, there we go. It says to install Node.js, you need to install Rosetta. Do you want to install it now? I'll say yes, install. I'll type the password. There you go, Rosetta is ready. And now I can install this Node.js uh, onto user local bin node, user local bin npn. Okay, let me just try installing. Continue install. Okay, seems like Node.js installed properly. I'll just move that to bin. And I'm going to open terminal now. And on terminal, I'm going to type node dash dash version. And I can see 14.15.1. And it's okay. It didn't seem like any difference. Like it even came a bit fast. Uh, on my 16 inch MacBook Pro, it, it seems the same. I'm going to do npn install g and I'll install this angular slash cli type sudo. So far, my experience is quite similar as Intel based Mac. There's no special thing that I had to do. And Rosetta package was like really small. It says, How do you change the settings? I'm going to say no. And then package is installed. Now, what we can do is I'm going to go to desktop i'm going to make a directory there i'll just say test angular let's get inside that directory okay so terminal would like to access files in your uh, desktop folder yeah that's fine and here i'm going to say ng dash dash version okay we'll just do ng new and i'm going to create a project as test project and no, no analytics, would you like to run it? Yes, I'll use this SCSS as. It created these files very quickly. Apparently the hard disk or SSDs are pretty fast on these new machines. So let's see how long it takes to install these packages. So far, uh, if this works, I don't really need to go and install Node.js with ARM-based uh, architecture. Uh, I'm, I'm just happy with that. But it says Xcode build command requires command line. line. Okay, so it requires some command line call. It says continue on battery. I uh, will plug the battery in. I'm gonna go to test folder and here I'm gonna do ng. First, let's do ls. If the package is installed, yes, I'll do ng serve. And let's see what happens here. Okay, it says compiling at Angular Core. 
Well, it seems very, very, very okay. I mean, if you can run Node.js and you only work with JavaScript, so far, I can tell you this is working perfectly fine. Maybe some packages might not work, but I doubt that because the translation tag Rosetta 2 is doing what it's supposed to do. So now I think I'm able to access localhost 4200. So let's do localhost colon 4200. And there you go, it loaded pretty quickly. So I can confirm you guys that installing this uh, Node.js with Rosetta 2 works perfectly fine. Now let's get out from this folder. I'm gonna do sudo npn install dash g ionix cli and I need capacitor slash cli and I need Cordova. I'm going to install these tools from Xcode because a lot of times when you're doing your mobile development or even the hybrid mobile development, which is like a website, you have to install this Xcode and command line tools. So we just wait for this to uh, finish installing and then once done, then I will uh, talk about them. Meanwhile, what we can do, we can install Express because that's another backend framework that I would like to test. So Express.js, let me find the command to install this. Should be pretty straightforward. That's the one. So we need to grab this uh, Express generator. That's what we need. So I'll just use this one, copy. Go to terminal and I'm going to use sudo, paste that and then install that as well, which can help us to create the express project. So we tested Angular, which is a front end framework. We're going to test Ionic, which is like a hybrid mobile development and express is already installed. That's pretty gay. Uh, let's go and generate a project with express. So I'm going to create a folder, test express get inside that folder and we're going to paste that command express and now we got the project npn install to install those packages once those packages installs look this this is this is great uh, <laughs> I, I don't see anything I was not expecting this to work the way it is working actually now we can uh, do npn install then we're going to do npn start command so the npn start and this should be serving our project on localhost 3000 that's the default port for that so let's try localhost 3000 okay so express is working A refresh refresh yep no issues at all let's go outside express test folder i'm gonna do Ionic start Angular project name test Ionic and I'm going to use this conference all right because I'm installing all these packages for the first time now that's good it's so I'll do test Ionic let's do let's see if the packages are installed yes we can see node modules folder so I'm going to do Ionic serve and it's going to run this application in localhost uh, port 8100, right? So Ionic app is running. That's looking good. So yeah, look at this. It's not performing bad. I mean, it's fast. I mean, I wasn't expecting Node to, to be that fast on running in emulation. So yeah, guys, uh, you can do front-end and back-end applica uh, application development. It, it, it's pretty cool. I was not expecting this to be this fast. I'm I'm like really impressed with the performance so far into the Node.js. Um, yeah, I'll try a lot of packages. If there is any package that does not run, I will let you guys know. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos uh, on the softwares that we can run on um, on these machines. Thank you. Bye.